And Daryl thinks that he is um, a Marvel character, if you will, because he doesn't ever throw up when he drinks. He just falls asleep like a dead body. And then I have to carry him and take care of him. And he hasn't done that since our honeymoon. And that's been three years now. Um, and because on our honeymoon, we learned, and I said, never again will you do this to me. Um, so <laughs> he's drinking. And I noticed he's getting, he's, I thought he was pretending to be white girl wasted. Oh. And I was like, haha, it's not funny anymore. Like, he's like, I can't believe we're out. Like that shit. And he's like, you're here, and I love that you're here. I love you. And I, I thought I'll he was tell acting. You I love you. Literally, I thought he was acting, and I was like, haha, stop. Then I, I, it clicked, and I go, oh, he's fucked up. <laughs> and All I, I saw, I was like, oh, Daryl posts an Insta story. Let's see how the show is. And it's I just like, it's like that. a two second clip, and he, he's just like, he goes like this. I don't want to scream too loud because Riley's sleeping upstairs. He goes like he's this. just like, woo. Shaky. <laughs> And then he t- for 20 minutes, he's like, Citizen Queens? And it doesn't tag anyone. And I go, no, baby, hold up. And I just typed it for him. And I was like, go ahead, post that, you dumb bitch. I uh, love you so much with all my heart. And then I realized, like, oh, fuck me. He's really drunk. I haven't seen him this drunk since our honeymoon. He's going to fall asleep. Um, so I looked at my manager, Pepe, who was there. I blame him. And I was like, take away the beer. Like, cut him off. He's done. And he was like, Sure. And like a toddler, Daryl looks at me. I was like, put the drink down. And he goes, and starts chugging his beer. <laughs> like, sure, one more sip. Fuck, I was like, I wish what I the watched fuck all of are this. you doing? Then he, and he was totally fine. And then we were hanging out with Brittany Broski. I don't want to say her name wrong, but I fucking love her. And she was so funny. The TikToker. Yep. And then we were outside trying to get an Uber and he could barely... I was like, we're doomed because he could barely get me an Uber. And I was like, I don't have the app. So you need to sack up and get me a fucking Uber and get me home. I got to go through the text. Uh, okay. So then we're in the Uber ride and he's falling asleep. I kind of have the videos. Should we share them? Is that no, 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 no. Don't, sh- so don't overshare. Asleep. Don't overshare. He's falling asleep and I go, oh, fuck. I can't get him out of the car by myself. Like I can't carry him. So I text Ryan praying that he's awake at midnight. I text him like, yo, you up? Yeah. So my, my night was I get a FaceTime from you guys. I'm just gaming, you know, not even streaming, just relax and just, ah, what a, what a awesome, cool day. We'll play a little apex and kick it. By the time you text me, it's midnight. And that's when I'm like 1130 PM. I get my little sleepy tea ready. I put on my better call Saul and I'm just on the couch vibing with the dogs and my sleepy tea. Ladies, what a life you could have. You text me at midnight. Are you awake? Yeah. What's good? Damn, you're up late. Yeah. I, I say to Megan, Megan says, I need help. I go, okay, where? Now I'm a little, I'm a little rattled. I'm like, I have not seen an I need help text from Megan. Yeah. Maybe ever. <laughs> I was like, when have I done that? Uh, on my way home with a drunk Daryl and he's passed out in the Uber. I go, ha 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 <laughs> Got you. I'm like, can't be that bad. Guy had pizza for dinner. Should soak up all the booze. I don't think he will be able to wake up. I am so mad at him. LOL. I'm literally sober enough to drive. <laughs> <laughs> but I would never, never drink and drive ever. Yeah, but it was like but I was you saying, didn't even you didn't even drink. I was like, I could pass a test right now. Like yeah. I didn't. I it had was like just one like a glass com- of wine. It was like, like a comparative of like how is this the situation? How are we the same person? And <laughs> we were drinking together, and he's that. And he I snuck off and did his own thing. He did. Then he you sent. Then you sent a little video of him in the Uber, and he's kind of just like. No, he's he's closing his eyes, and he started going. Yeah, he's just. And no, I was and like, I go, "What is that?" Oh, mean? I know this look. I didn't know what that meant. Also, you have to know, Daryl. He doesn't um, ever like when he's drunk. He just falls asleep really hard, and it's the dead body weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he never pukes, and it was like his trophy. Like he would be like, um, vomit free since '03. Like hasn't thrown up since 2003. So yeah, it was, and uh, he even said it at the bar, ordering a drink. Vomit free since yeah. '03. It's almost like he self sabotaged himself. He by, cursed himself. Yeah, a curse. Um, but yeah. I, I saw the videos like, I hope I'm he doesn't I'm holding get his sick. head up in the car so he can lean on something. Yeah. Um, you say, <laughs> just so lame. I had one glass of wine. I hate booze. I'm like, yes, okay. <laughs> all right. Kid can't hang. That's all, why I'm upset. How do you not know caps. your limit? You're 30 years old. All caps. He threw up. Help. SOS. Yeah. We're on the fucking highway 
And he goes to put the window down and then he goes like this. And I was like, no. And then he goes, he looks back at me like, like, uh huh, it's about to happen. And then he goes, now, all down his shirt. When you guys arrived and you got out of the car, I, he, it was really just all over himself. So it was, it was, it was. I wiped it out of the car, bro. <laughs> it was in the corner. He, he's been doing that all night, little corner pockets where I'm like, there's a bucket. Anyways, so he threw up, he comes inside. <laughs> He's smiling at Ryan. He looks pale still. So I was like, oh, it's not done. And then I, I, I said, get him, him some move. water with some element. Yep. Hydration uh, formula. Ele- I call them elementies. Um, um, and then I carried him up the stairs. But he stairs. really was walking on his own. But, you know, here's the, th- here's the thing. You guys carried me to bed thousands of times. So I was like, eh, this is no no problem whatsoever. It's the least I can do. How funny is it that before all this, he was like, do you mind if I have a glass of wine? <laughs> Oh yeah, he goes to me. <laughs> hey Ryan, do you mind I'm if the, I have still a glass the sober of wine? guy. He goes, Ryan, is it cool if I have a glass of wine? I was like, Yeah, dude, my friends do drugs. <laughs> it's cool if I get blackout drunk and see you later. And throw I up. didn't know that that glass of wine was going to turn into he that. He did wine, I thought, two shots. I thought it was beer. just like a wine with the pizza. Okay, so then, night. then he sees our bed and he face plants like body dives on it, and I go, No, like there's throw up on his shirt. And I'm dragging him like a movie, like pulling his shoes off, pulling his pants off. Like, baby, I got to shower you. You're disgusting. Get out of my fucking bed. And I pull him to the shower. Luckily, we have a bench in the shower. I sit him down, hose his bitch down. (laughs) I start washing him with shampoo. And he's like, "Mm." and I'm like, almost done. Can you lift your arm? Like, I'm talking to him like he's Riley. He's like, (laughs) me. How much here? Man, and you're a super you're a super woman. I dry him off and then I push him into the bed and then I shower and, and I'm just like depressed because I'm like, this is not how this night was supposed to go. He's supposed to take yeah, care of you me. You kept texting me, I was already fast. <laughs> yeah, I was like, fuck this. <laughs> like, and then I come back from the shower and he crawls all the way to my side of the bed, crosses <laughs> over this Cali King bed. I go, Where are you going, babe? Where are you going? And he's like, Bleh. over the side. <laughs> On my fucking side of the bed. With these slow throw ups. Slow dude. throw. Yeah, because it's silent too. He's like, Bleh. I only threw up violently. Then he started doing that. So then we're going to bed. I'm checking if he's breathing because mom's like, make sure he's not choking. And I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, can he die like this? What a dumb way to die. <laughs> so I'm checking that he's breathing. He's like super uncomfortable on his side. So I try to put the pillow under him and he was like, yeah. Then he can't get comfortable and he starts going like, mm. And I was like, are you going to throw up? And he goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> and this was the one in between, you're like, you know, your side table and that crease right in that pocket. The trash can's right next to it. No, no, no. I go to the crease, into the crease, projectile vomit. Yeah. And I go, no, baby, no. And then I literally am holding the bucket like, please, please, sir, the bucket. Bah. And then, and he, it sounds like it's in his lungs. Like, yeah. he doesn't know how to throw up. Like, right. he de- And he's like, <gasps> like, it's bad. And and then I, I kept looking at him. And I was like, are you choking? And he's like, <laughs> looking like he's choking. And he goes, <clears throat> and I was like, you're not choking. No, poor and bastards. Then, and then he did go, he doesn't remember a thing, but he did go, oh, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> the demon left his body. <laughs> it's good that he threw up. I mean, I, everything was gone. I, like, would rarely throw up. I would have to be, it was probably, like, close to death when I'd throw up. But I would usually it's just, mixing, I would keep dude. it all in. And then the next day, just feel like a train hit me. But, yeah, this is what happens when you're 30. Daryl's now 30. He's a dad. Since, like, a And week. he goes, yeah, I'll have a little wine, a little beer, a couple shots of tequila. He was like, this is my first night out as a dad. That's what he kept saying. Yeah. And I was like, shush, shush, shush. He's just making like a witch's brew Literally. in his stomach of like everything, <laughs> the pizza, the like, like bad yeah. idea. And you said before I went to the show, well, at least you'll have good karma yeah. going to that show. It's, all like, it. it's like, you know, maybe if you don't have the most fun, you kind of regret it. At least you'll have some good karma. We got a top 10. Now you should have extra good. Me. You'll, you'll <laughs> personally, you will have extra good karma now because then you have to take care of Daryl that whole night. Oh, no, he owes me for life now. It's yeah. great to be on this side of things. Uh, so I went to bed at three, covered in throw up, uh, smelling vomit, yeah. and just crying, just like, you know, like, but it's my night. Um, but God it's Daryl's Daryl's re- realization of 30 slaps you right in the face. 30, 30, you're done, kid. You know, yeah. no more of that. 